Hello everybody, welcome back to another video editing video. In this one, I wanna to talk to you about V.io and I wanna show you how this browser-based video editor as opposed to standard video editors like Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, etc., that you have to download, this browser-based one, no installations, has some of the best subtitling in the business. Maybe the best, I'm not sure, but it's one of the best. And in fact, it's better than Premiere Pro's and we all know, you know, Premiere Pro is, you know, at least has been the gold standard in the video editing world. So here we go. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna prove my claim first and then I'm gonna show you how to go and subtitle any video very quickly with one click and we'll look at a few other options while I got you here. So here we go. So here's an example of Premiere Pro. This is a one click. If you go into Premiere Pro, click text and you click on the captions, these are the captions that you would get. Let's go to the beginning. Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video in this one. Okay, so you see what happened there? Now, I know exactly what I said in this video and it goes, let everybody. So I say, hello everybody. So it's incorrect on the first word. Welcome back, Avery, on this one, where I don't say that. If you listen carefully, everybody, welcome back to another AI video in this I say, welcome back to another AI video. And it has this all incorrect. In fact, I don't even know anyone named Avery. I'm not here to, you know, put Premiere Pro down. Premiere Pro is a great program, don't get me wrong. But when I put it into V.io, they have, let's see what they came up with. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video in this one. I'm going to show you how to do that awesome that is exactly what I said. I did not have to make any changes. I click one button and it's ready to go. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step, but I wanted to get it out there that I believe this has some of the best subtitling in, in all of uh, video editing. So let's just get cracking. I'm gonna go veed.io and I'll put a link, of course, in the description below. I encourage you to click on it and give it a try. And presto, we're in it. It's got a, it's got some free stuff. It's got a paid version. Like all programs, you know, there's the free one and then there's the paid one. This is no different. Um, and here we go. Once you've signed in and you're logged in, this is the screen that you're going to see. Video editing, especially because it's browser-based, I know I mentioned that, but it's one thing to have downloadable software with a bunch of features. It's another thing to have it built in a browser. There, there, it, It's quite a feat. But anyways, I'm gonna click on new video and you get a few options. You get to create a project or start a recording. If you want to screen cap or screen record or record your face talking into a webcam, you can do all that stuff. I'll do a video on that in the future. In this one, we're gonna go, oops, I'm gonna click the wrong button. I'm gonna to go to click new video, create new project. I wanna show you how fast you can get up and running with perfect subtitling. And then I'm gonna show you how to animate it and, and use a few different options. So there you go, I clicked on that. We get a few options. We can go blank project or use template. Now, normally I would click bank, uh, I would click blank project, but I do want you to know that they have hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of really high quality pre-built templates. And not only are these pre-built templates, they're easy to configure or to you know customize for your needs. So I'll make that in another video, but I want you to know that they're there. And if you need something, if you're a social media manager and you wanna get some content out quickly, this has stuff for you. Anyways, let's go in, click blank project. When we do that, we get the option to upload a file or we can do a few other things. But in this case, I'm gonna upload the file. So I'm gonna go into my finder, I'm gonna go into movies, and then I'm just gonna grab a video like this one here. Let's grab this one, why not? And I'll just drag and drop it in. There we go. Once I do that, we'll see here that it's loaded up my you know editing screen here on the left side. We've got all these different options. Again, they're pretty straightforward. They're very easy to use. And we'll start here and I wanna show you the subtitling. So here we go. I'm gonna go onto the left side here. All you need to do is this. If you click on, well, let's click on subtitles. Watch this. All you need to do again is hit auto transcribe. It will auto magically generate the subtitles. And because I made the video, I'll know if it's correct. So I'm just gonna click on that button. I'm gonna select English. However, if you're looking to do, you know, translations or, you know, you're looking to create uh, subtitles in different languages, it's all in there, but I'm just gonna stick on English and I'm gonna create the subtitles. It takes just a few seconds here. You'll see it loading. And while it's doing that, like, let's take a look around. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna increase the size of this bar here because I wanna be able to see a little bit more of our timeline. This is our playhead, so to speak. You can just sort of scan through it just like that. And you can do a few other things if you want to go ahead and see the audio track because for this one, it actually helps quite a bit because you wanna make sure that your subtitles are correct. Look at that, it didn't even, look, it even did it for me. So there we go. So hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do that awesome 
QR art. I mean, it even gives you confidence levels on, on these. It's crazy. So let's hit space bar. Watch this. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to... Yes. So it's all correct. I, I actually mentioned... I was mumbling at the beginning here, so I'll just go ahead and, and change that. But there we go. Now, so there we go. We've got that... We've got our QR... Or we pardon me. We've got our subtitles built in here. Looks pretty good, but you know what? Maybe we want to make some changes. I'll show you a few other things you can do here. You can round the corners if that matters to you, and you can adjust them. I'm just going to go with square corners or... Um, yeah, like rectangular corners, but you can go ahead and make a few changes there. There's also eye contact for those of you that are shy and, you know, introverted. There's something there, but again, this doesn't matter for this video because we're not in it, but I wanted you to know that it's there. And there's also background and green screening. If you want to adjust the audio levels, increase the, you know, the amount, like let's say you record it in a quiet room, you can increase the audio or decrease it as you see fit. Uh, all of that's in there. But again, let's get back into the subtitles. I wanted you to see that. So there you go. Now, if I want to go ahead and make some changes to it, like let's say I want it to be bigger, you'll see here that it's just a matter of pulling on that little edge here and bang, we've gone ahead and adjusted it. If I want to change the style, this is another thing. So this is the default style. But if you want, let's say, let's look at some of these style. I like this one here. Look at that. I just, it's one click, one button. Let's go back to the beginning, hit play. Look at that, we've got an entirely new style. If I want this style, or this style, or this style, it's literally one click, it applies it to the entire, it, it, to the entire video. So it's pretty cool right out of the box. If you want animations, like let's say we, you know, we want it to be a little bit more Mr. Beast-ish, if you want to, you know, have some animations going on. Again, you can click on things like styles, you can change the font, you can click right here with the animation. Right now I've got it on box highlight, so it actually highlights the word as it's said. So look at that, like here we go, like let's hit play. You remember the bouncing ball from when you were young? Okay, maybe I'm aging myself here, but there you go. I want to highlight the word. I want karaoke, whatever the heck that is. Okay, I guess it's, yeah, what the next word is coming up. It sort of features it, but there you go, guys. I mean, look at that. You want to highlight and use different colors, drop-ins, pops, things like that. All of this is one click and it gets it right. So I wanted to I wanted to make sure that you understood that. This is probably the best for subtitling. It's called V.io. Links in the description below. Try it out. Take a look. Leave me a comment. If you get stuck at any part, just leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching.